coming to you from Australia, it's Idiot Box Radio. Please welcome the hardest working type 2 diabetic in podcasting. It's Idiot Box Radio with your host, Tori. Hey, hi, hello, g'day, welcome to Idiot Box Radio, my name is Tori. Tori, that's right, if you don't know who the fuck that is, fucking jump back into your fucking TARDIS and go back fucking six fucking years. I don't even know why I'm doing this again. I'm elderly. How did I jump from being middle-aged to fucking on the downward spiral of life, staring down the barrel of a fucking gun? Welcome to the show, I'm so glad that you guys are back, I'm back, and that mum, mum, you're really pleased that this show's back, aren't you? Fucking chicken! All right, so if you don't know what Idiot Box Radio is, comedy podcast, totally not safe for work. I'm going to be talking about all the things that you guys are scared to talk about in front of polite company. So you make sure that you let me know what's going on in your lives. You can email me at Idiot Box Raymo- fucking! You can email me at Idiot Box Raymo- <laughs> Fuck! It's been six years and you know what? Because this show's all about swearing, I don't even have to cut it out. You can email me at idiotboxradio at gmail.com. Down the track, if I get a hotline, then you'll be the first to know about it. And, uh, yep. Thank you so very much if you found this show by mistake. My name again, Torale. So, yeah, let's quickly recap. Um, last last five years since I did a show about Father's Day where children are cunts and give you fucking socks and jocks. Uh, a lot's happened. So, yeah, I'm I'm just back to being me again by myself. Um, hi. Hi, I'm Tori, crossing the road by myself. One day I'll get to the point that I'm trying to cross the road by myself and a fucking girl scout or someone will say, excuse me, sir, can I please help you with that? And I'll go, fuck off! But this is the confusing world that we find ourselves in um you would have remembered like many years ago you know tory 34 single tory tory 35 single 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 um yep g'day tory 48 single i'm 48 48 years old single and um it's a confusing old world that we've uh, let ourselves time warp to that's for sure but hopefully you'll be here with me i think i think i've managed to fucking keep a grip on technology and uh we'll uh, be able to put a show together one of the things i did want to talk to you about today just as the kickoff show um I, I don't know about you guys but apparently prostitutes don't like coffee it's confusing and in this world of digital online fucking connectivity uh you know you can find me pretty much nowhere because i just started up the show again and i've got an idiot box radio fan club i think on facebook we, we can start off from there how about we start off there and you can find me under tory um i guess i have to go back to the point i'm using tory idiot box radio as my name again instead of my full proper name but some of you know my full proper name and it's not going to be too hard to figure it out anyhow uh, stock up aware stock is crazy Rolling through the night, tapping on your door, knowing what you're doing, knowing about moves you're having, stalkers beware. Okay, um, so sorry about that. Not single. And um, so basically there's this thing called Snapchat. You you will know what it is, but um the prostitutes love Snapchat. And so I'm on Snapchat like an elderly person, having no fucking idea of what's going on, you know, just fucking looking at stuff, boobs. And um basically all that's happening is like people add you every now and then, and I just go, oh, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. I've got no fucking filter. I'm the fucking doyen. I'm the man of action, salting the fruit, painting pictures with my words. You'll get used to these terms. Okay, so basically um, this chick, girl, adds me woman. Girl, you'll be a woman soon. She adds me on Snapchat. I'm like, oh fuck, whoever, you might be into Lego because that's one of my hobbies. Oh, fucking worlds collide with that comment. Anyhow, so I get uh, this invitation on Snapchat that so fucking, let's call her uh, Sally, wants to be my friend. Now, Sally wants to be my friend. I go, yeah, sure. You know, it's someone new to talk to. Who really cares? It won't matter. So Sally goes, hey, WDU. No. I fucked that up. What is it? WYD. And I go, oh, no, I'm fucking. What does that mean? Acronyms. No, I do know what that means, even if I can't repeat it back properly for the purpose of storytelling. I go, oh, not much. Just fucking, you know, playing video games and uh, playing with Lego and, you know, stuff. And she goes, well, you know, I want to fuck. And I'm like, what the fuck? You know, that generally my opening line of I'm playing with Lego closes the pussy. It just smacks, smacks it shut. I mean, if I was a gay guy, the bums would clap shut, you know? Snap, clack, crattle, crap. Okay. But straight away, Sally's down to fuck. This fucking Lego shit I've got going on, this is doing the fucking job. And I'm like, um, do you want to just chat for a bit? No? Maybe chat for a bit. Get to know each other. Find out if we've got similar things, similar interests that would be really good for us to have a chat about. About and maybe start this whole relationship as friends. Next thing is her shoving something inside a vagina and a link, of course, to where I can sign up for 
free for our first fuck. And I, I feel, I don't know, I felt really hurt because I was like, I'm all about making friends. Like if you guys have known me for a while and some of you have for a very long time, I like making friends, I like talking, I like figuring out what's going on in the world. But no, prostitutes don't want friends. They don't like coffee. They want to catch up for a coffee. They want you to sign up to get that fucking fuck on. Fuckity fucking fuck fucking chicken. I wish I still had the sound effect for Henry. I had a character called Henry the Chicken, and I'd say fucking chicken. And then he'd go bock egg. I might actually look quite hard for that because Henry would be good to have back on the show. But um, yeah, so the prostitutes. It's just a very morally uh, ambiguous world that they live in and they're straight onto the fucking dollars, really, seriously. And it's surprising because it doesn't matter where in the world they live, they live somewhere really close to you. Um, I noticed that because I was like, hey, you know, maybe we could catch up for a coffee and then we could play with Lego. I keep throwing that in, Lego. Maybe we can play video games. I'm trying to close the puss. So, But basically, no, it doesn't matter what I say. I'm the most fucking handsomest dare doing fucking person on the internet webs and I think it may have come from my fame from idiot box radio maybe that's just the thing but uh, yeah it doesn't matter where I live or where they live we live somewhere close to each other and therefore they just want to get that sex game on I'm not sure what to do about it I'm somewhat perturbed I'm somewhat hurt and to be honest with you all I wanted to do was to make a new friend but they just want things put inside their bodies for money I'm guessing in any case let me know what you think about this has it happened to you and uh, I'm going to wrap this one up for now as i said this is just a very gentle coming back but i was very very confused about why prostitutes don't like the idea of coffee idiot box radio out